Hey you guys, today I'm going to be doing a Lush Path Cocktail video and I'm also going to be taking you guys along with me to brunch only for a couple of minutes with my husband but that's not till the end of the video. For now, I'm going to be having a Lush Bath Cocktail and today I'm going to be using something a little bit sort of, I guess you could call it rare, I don't know, but it's kind of hard to find and it's a bath bomb that Lush only made for one Christmas. It's called Northern Lights, but this is the 2014 version of it that Lush made for one year only. As you can see, it was extra long, therefore breakable. So what Lush did the next year is they made it half the size and unfortunately when they did that, they did something to the coloring because now the ones they made that were shorter had a gross sort of gray brown green color to the bath and not the original lovely purple color that I'm going to show you now with this bath bomb. I'm also going to have as my soap some Prince Charming shower cream and this one has pomegranate juice and fresh marshmallow root, fair trade vanilla pod, and uh, organic cocoa butter, sandalwood oil, grapefruit oil, geranium oil. It says juicy grapefruit oil sweeps you off your feet, then uplifting sandalwood oil carries your mood off into the sunset. And I'm going to read the little thing, the little message under here. It says, ridicule is nothing to be scared of. I'm going to show you some chocolate that I bought. It's called Endangered Species Chocolate. And 10% of the net proceeds go towards helping endangered species. It's 88% dark chocolate and it's vegan and it's fair trade and organic and I love it and I'm going to have some while I take my bath. So here's the Northern Lights, the 2014 version that they made only one year. I've never been so glad in my life to have bought more than one I'm going to have it with a 2018 Mother's Day bubble bar called Mother of Pearl. Now I'm going to try ever so gently to unwrap this without breaking this delicate four-year-old bath bomb. Some of you might ask yourself, is this four-year-old bath bomb even going to work? And I would say, if I would were a betting person, I would bet money that this is going to work and it's going to look gorgeous. The trick is I need to take this off very carefully. up the mother of pearl marbled bubble rune and first I'm going to cut out the white cocoa butter piece in the middle because I like to separate my colors out so I'll separate the white pieces from the blue pieces and now I'll chop this up and what a difference a fresh bubble bar makes when you're trying to cut it. So this 
is nice and soft and very conditioning. So I like these Mother's Day bubble runes. They're more moisturizing to my skin. And as you know, I have very dry skin. So these bubble bars just make my skin feel so moisturized and good. And last night, what I, one of the things I wanted to show you was this new wind chime that I bought made out of cafe shells, and it's a gorgeous indigo blue color. Now, I think you can see already that this 2014 Northern Lights bath bomb has a completely different coloring than the 2015, 2016, and 2017 version of the Northern Lights bath bomb. You can see there is no green or brown or black or gray color with this one. There is only purple and pink and orange and yellow and blue. And the scent is a lovely floral fragrance and it shares its scent with the Christmas Eve bubble bar that Lush sells for Christmas. It's a lovely floral and I actually have a demo video of its own of the 2014 Northern Lights bath bomb here on my YouTube channel. And I also have a demo video of the 2015, 16, 17 version of the Northern Lights bath bomb here on my YouTube channel. And I can put that, uh, the links to those two after the, uh, or down in the description box for you if you guys care to check it out. I think you'd be pretty amazed at the difference. So this version just can't be beat, and I pray that someday they make the uh, original version again and maybe pack them in some plastic. But see, they would have to pack them in plastic, and that's going against what Lush likes to do nowadays. So... There's the conundrum, right? I guess those of us who s bought a little stash of them should be consider ourselves lucky. We still have a couple to use. You can see the lovely pink water that it um, becomes in the bath versus the ugly gray-green of the new version. So now I'm going to put in the Mother of Pearl bubble bar and we'll see what color the water transforms to. I'm going for a gradient of color, kind of an ombre effect of pink, purple, and blue. 
So you can see on the right end it's pink and it gets deeper and deeper at the left end where the blue bubble bar is going in and that's exactly what I was going for. And I'm hoping that it'll make a really nice sort of uh, violet blue when I swoosh it all together to combine the two colors. And let's see here. That's what I'm talking about, folks. And that is the beauty of this particular combination. And I'm going to mix it up and, I'll, yeah, I'm going to get like a, a blue-violet, almost like a maybe a periwinkle blue kind of a color. Oh, my. There's not that many things, lush things, that can make that particular shade. I think um, Moon on a Stick makes that particular color and certainly the Christmas Eve bubble bar makes this particular color. Here is a little thing I recorded of the bubbles and I just wanted to let you hear what the bubbles sound like really up close when I record them. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of fun sounding. And my husband and I, he took me to brunch today at this place here where I live. And it was on TV on the show Chopped on the Food Network. And one of the chefs that uh, owns this place was on Chopped. And this place is called Farm and Table. And the thing is, they grow everything local and a lot of it on the property. So everything from the proteins to the veg to the desserts are made from scratch and grown on the premises. And they have something that some of you might think is kind of strange. It's a traditional New Mexican drink. Uh, it's a breakfast uh not a drink, a, a breakfast. It's almost like a porridge and it's made with blue corn. And I used to have it as a little girl with my grandpa and grandma at the breakfast table. And my mom made it for me when it was winter time occasionally. And she'd put lots of sweetened milk in it, frothed milk and cinnamon. And it looks kind of odd and almost gross but it, trust me it's the most comforting sweet creamy goodness and I guess it's an acquired taste it's called atole a-t-o-l-e and that's what I'm going to be having today and this place is so lovely it has peacocks and peahens that run around free here and they're my favorite animal and the organic coffee here is outstanding and I love all of the Native American rugs that cover the uh, the wrought iron chairs here they're all different and they're they just lend a sort of a cozy feel to this restaurant and here comes the atole and I'm pouring sweetened frothed milk and it's swimming in butter that's the way the restaurant serves it here's some pea hens <laughs> so thanks for joining me with my back cocktail and my brunch and I hope you like it and I will talk to you very soon on the next Lush video don't forget to Comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.